All right, we had a pretty nice weekend out there. Weather-wise, these are some of the numbers. A little warmer in Fairfield today than yesterday. 92 in Antioch. It was a nice day. A little warmer than Vallejo as well at 91 degrees. Tomorrow will be about the same or a tad cooler in some of those inland spots, but very much similar day tomorrow. So your Monday, like today. Fog, it is back at the coast. It's there in a big way, and you can see it went away today for a little while, which was great. Now it's back. It's uh, doing what it does. Ocean sea surface temperatures are pretty cool, and so that allows that fog to form pretty easily. When, even when it goes away, when, as soon as it gets night and the high pressure settles down again, winds die down a little bit, the fog just comes right back. These are the uh, current temperatures. You can see the sea breeze, right, reflected in green, um, representing you know, temperatures that are certainly cooler, lower, and certainly more humid, higher moisture content than uh, the air that we saw earlier this afternoon. So it's on. It's just, it's just classic Bay Area, uh, early, almost August uh, pattern. So there's fog at the coast. You can't see it now, but it's, it's pretty much all along the coast. It's pushing through the gate. We did show you that live picture of it. Um, it's not going to get that far inland. The marine layer not that deep, but it'll get into Berkeley and Oakland and Hayward. Probably s s slip into Lorinda maybe slip into San Rafael. It's not going to go well, well inland, but it'll get there. And so the sea breeze will be on tonight. It'll be on again tomorrow night. But the story is going to be tomorrow morning clouds and fog. And then we got some high clouds coming in from the monsoons. That's coming in over the top. So just that North American monsoon, it's when the moisture starts to come up from the desert southwest. And it can bring thunderstorms. Right now, it looks like it's just going to bring a lot of cloud cover. So there's Monday morning. And then there's uh, Monday evening and some high clouds. And then more clouds come in as we head into Tuesday. And those clouds will lead to cooler daytime highs on Tuesday and Wednesday, most likely. So uh, subtle changes. That's what I should have said right off the bat. Those subtle changes. No big changes as we go through the next couple of days. As we get into the later end of the weekend, it's going to warm up quite a bit next weekend, like Saturday into Sunday. I think we're going to get, and Sunday could get back into the low 100s. But in the meantime, it's steady as she goes. That is the fog footprint for tomorrow morning. Pretty aggressive. And then the forecast highs, just like today. Reds are 90s, but you see they, everything kind of gets pushed. There's enough of a marine surge, cool air, that fog I showed you, pushing against the heat. And it kind of just pushes it back into the Central Valley or out into Fairfield and Vallejo and Vacaville and those places. 93 in Antioch tomorrow, 94 in Fairfield, so slightly cooler. Yeah, it's going to be nice weather. Fire danger is big right now just because certainly the time of year. We're not seeing red flag warnings or anything, which is fortunate, but... You notice today we had a few fires here and there. We're going to see more fires, brush fires, startup fires, and pretty much probably every day for the next week as this pattern sort of continues. Um, not a high fire danger pattern. It's just a high fire danger time of year. I'll see you back here uh, at 11, and we'll update the forecast, Mike. All right, sounds good, Bill. Thank you. LeBron.